Okay, so today we're gonna to be looking at the Fuel EX 9.7. The big change this year is going to the storage chamber right in the center of the frame here. Comes pre-installed with this bottle cage. I'm not 100% sure why. It is removable. You can put your own cage on there. Um, don't know why they sent a natural cage with it. Definitely the casing is a little cheaper looking than the Demones, which come with the internal storage. But I think that does is allow a deeper shell on the interior. So more, more stuff can fit in there. So there it is. And here is the pouch, which comes with it to jam everything you need to fix a flat. Pretty awesome. Um, there is no multi-tool holder on this one, as the Demones have a multi-tool holder, and this one does not. So they still have the Bontrager drop post in here. It is the new edition, um, so they've removed a lot of the seat wiggle. There is almost none. A lot of people did not like that, um, which is a nice upgrade. Again, with all the fuels now and most of the check bikes, they're actually going to the solid link at the bottom instead of having the link which would rotate, allowing for a little more float. Um, essentially, they're saying that the new shocks are more than enough powerful and effective enough that you don't need that. The 9.7 is well stocked. It actually comes with the GX shifting on it, which is very impressive for a 9.7 level. So this is the SRAM 12 speed, as everyone's used to, Eagle, Descendant Crank, and Dub bottom bracket. So it is super compatible. As with the Eagle stuff and being GX, you are ready that you can change it out, upgrade and downgrade as you please. They do have the Fox 34 on there now. Yeah, it makes it a nice, stable fork. Good size stanchions. Bit more travel than previous years. Still with the knock block, so they have the protector built right here, allowing your fork to not hit on sharp corners. And then a built-in system, and a built-in system right into the head unit, so you're not gonna knock anything. Aluminum bar, um, carbon frame, and actually a carbon rear triangle, which is new for the 2020s, that all carbon frames now come with a carbon triangle. Another really cool upgrade this year for the 2020s is actually going to the four piston brakes. This is making the Fuel X an even more capable bike leaning towards the fact that you could do an enduro race with it. 29 is you put a faster tire on there, maybe not an XR4, something a little more smooth, and you'd actually be able to race cross country with it. Super comfy geometry. This is the one bike to do it all, the one bike to rule. If you're unsure what you're gonna be doing, you have a lot of flat terrain to go across, the Fuel X will fill that gap. 9.7 going with the carbon frame, you're gonna get a much stiffer frame, a lot more responsive. I notice the frame stiffness on mountain bikes more than a road bike lightness. You can really hammer the corners and get a lot of speed through. The color on this one is the teal to blue fade. It also comes in a gray to gray fade. This one is a little more tame than the Remedies fade, which a lot of people like. Downside with going with the Shimano brake set is you actually do not come with the matchmaker where these could actually compatible together. You'd have to buy some other system to kind of hide them together and mount them together. 35 mil burr. So that's another change of this year. Just going with the growing trends of more Enduro ready. And then the minnow link down here still keeps you 
able to flip, lower your bottom bracket, slacking out the front, really nicely done. And the cable routing this year, they've done a good job of as well, where it just pops through that little point there. You can just barely see it. So yeah, that's the 2020 Fuel EX 9.7.